you can absolutely use a pacifier with your baby. Maybe you call it a soother, a dummy, whatever it is, it's a-okay to use it with your baby. The thing is, is that it's actually a tool. It's not an always thing. My baby here is four months and she actually uses her soother about 10 to 15% of the time. However, other babies, we usually see between 20 to 30% of the time. Before six months, the AAP recommendations is to consider using a soother. And so you are more than welcome to. When we want to remove a soother is when we're actually finding it interrupting sleep. So if your baby is not able to go to sleep without it, or you're constantly having to wake up to put it back in, then that is where you're going, mm, is this being helpful? Or is this actually stopping further sleep happening? You see what happens is when a baby is sucking, that sucking reflex prior to 12 weeks is actually involuntary. And between that 12 to 14 weeks is where they're learning Am I sucking all the time when I fall asleep? Is that what's happening? And then during the four-month regression is when it becomes really, really solid. The reason why babies often who have soothers will often wake up at 20 to 30-minute mark is because during that deep sleep with their body, their bodies usually go limp. So we're looking at like this, right? So she is in deep sleep right now. However, between deep and REM sleep, which is that brain sleep, the sucking reflex reactivates. Your baby is not intentional about that, but their body is then like, well, hang on, where did that soother go? And they have to fully wake up trying to find that soother to re-go back into that sleep, but they don't go back into that same part of the sleep cycle. So that's where we end up with these short 20 to 30 minute naps. You wanna use a soother for a newborn, they're gonna use it quite frequently. Keeping a baby awake while they're feeding or anything like that is very hard. And sucking is one of those natural reflexes as a newborn that is gonna come and settle them. However, when you have a bigger baby, that's when we wanna become really intentional when we're going to use it. Anything that you do at that first section of bedtime sleep is often kind of like the overarching theme of sleep for a baby. That's how they get to sleep. And so that is not where we want to use it. We want to use it, say, the last nap of the day where they're overtired. There's been a wonky day of naps. Maybe they're overtired or in this scenario here where I have people around and I want her to sleep, but she needs a little bit extra help going to sleep, then I'm able to use it. I'm able to leverage it when the time's appropriate. However, when she's in her crib, she doesn't have her soother. Did she before 12 weeks? Yeah, totally. Do some babies do fine with it until six months in their crib? Yes, some babies do. However, some babies don't. And that's where we want to make sure that things are for your baby. Your baby is unique and special. It doesn't need to be like every other baby. And so it's okay to be like, mm, this is not actually helping sleep. We're not getting good stretches of sleep. It's normal to have night wakings, but if they're waking up every hour or so, every two hours, that's not quality sleep. Both you and your baby need that quality sleep. So will your baby stop sleeping through the night or won't be able to start sleeping through the night if they have a soother? Here's the thing. However, a baby navigates light sleep, so that's that drowsiness stage, they're sleepy or dozy, that is how they understand sleep. So if they have a soother in every single time they're navigating that light sleep, and this is especially that four month mark and onwards, then they're not able to navigate it without the soother. We all go through sleep cycles throughout the night, 45 minute sleep cycles. And so this is where we see babies wake up because they don't know how to go into that, that round of like light sleep, second stage of light sleep, deep sleep, REM sleep. Drowsiness, that first stage of light sleep, second stage, and so on. And so that is where the pacifier can cause an issue and why we would want to remove it. Some kids, they really don't have an issue. However, for most kids, they'll usually come up against a developmental leap and that's where they really find it hard and it's time to kind of end the soother use. Otherwise, it definitely needs to be done by the time they're three. Hey there, mama. Are you feeling exhausted, frustrated, and just a little defeated? I hear you and I've been there and thankfully I can help. Let's teach your baby to sleep. I'm talking 10 to 12 hours of sleep each night. Little Wink's Sleep Sleep Baby program uses a science-based, gentle, parent-present approach 
that fosters healthy attachment while teaching independent sleep skills. We don't believe in letting your baby cry it out. This program includes everything you need, such as our insider strategies, both on night sleep and naps, as well as extras like our monthly live Q&A.